Welcome back to yet again another YouTube video. Just a quick one, the lighting might be a little bit different or better. I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna look after you know I've gone through all the bits on edits and stuff, but basically the the light lives over there and there's a light that lives there. But at the moment, in fact, I'll quickly show you. I'll quickly show you what I'm up to. So I'm just currently painting the rest of the Lego room black. Um, I'm gonna leave like a feature wall there, like a nice white wall so it's not just all black, but yeah. At the moment, it's looking quite crazy because most of it is, well, that's already black because I did that months ago, but yeah, doing this bit and all this bit as well. And then like I said, that's gonna be a nice little white feature wall just to break up the room. Anyway, now back to the most important bit of the video. In this huge bag, very heavy bag, I have over 2,000 fake Lego pieces. As you can see by the thumbnail, I've just bought the Nebulon B Medical Frigate. It's fake, you know me, I like my fake stuff if it looks good. Um, but yeah, I'm basically just gonna go through the building experience. Sorry about the noise again, the little one. The little one's going mental upstairs with one of his new toys that I got him today. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna spread it all out, see what we've got, because I don't know what's inside this yet. Yeah, so let's take a proper look and see what's inside. Wow. So as you can see, there is a lot of bags. There's over 2,000 pieces here, and they're all in these tiny little bags here. So as you can see, we have tons and tons bags pieces and this is what we're building today just look how cool this is as well so you know you get the little brick separator this is um i'm not sure who's built this i'm not sure where it's actually come from um but yeah this is their little brick separator piece and i'm going to keep that because that's actually quite cool but yeah this is the nebulon well it is actually the nebulon b medical um it, but obviously they can't use all the uh, correct names and stuff but yeah this guy looks absolutely massive quite long quite high and the building process is going to be very tedious because it is a lot of tiny little pieces um, but I'll have a quick look through the instructions manual here so yeah so there's back okay so there's six bags um, obviously loads of little ones per numbered bag yeah that's what we're going to be building and so on yeah so it's going to look quite awesome so in total there's 81 pages um because basically that's just you literally add on and then 80 third pages the final product but yeah this is going to look awesome so let's get started with the build we're on page 24 out of 83 and this is starting to shape up really nice and there's the front of it look how cool that is such a huge set can't wait to see it all finished just a quick little added one of course i always appreciate the work and design that goes into these and i know a lot of companies out there that are selling on the secondhand market like where i've bought this from don't give credit to the actual designer of this. So if you do recognize this design and you know the designer, please tag him in this video. I just wanna say a massive thank you. Obviously I didn't buy this. I don't think I bought it straight from the designer because you just never know where you're buying these things from. But you know, I just wanna one, apologize for probably not buying it straight from you. Secondly, obviously it is fake Lego. So I doubt, you know, this would have been made from the designer, but yeah all credits to him um if it is from this shop or wherever i got this from then fair enough it's a wicked set but if it isn't then the guy who owns this design i just want to say thank you so much because mate this is absolutely amazing please if you know him or know of the person that has designed this please drop him in a comment on this youtube so he gets all of the credit that he deserves page 38 out of 83 complete and this is what we've got so far this thing is magical but it's so heavy like if i just let go a little bit 
it just goes straight forward because it's only supported by that at the moment. But yeah, that's the front end of it. This thing is so highly detailed. Looks absolutely incredible. Can't wait to get this finished. So knowing me, of course, I ended up spending all night building this. I thought I was gonna take it, you know, make it last a couple of days, but nope. I decided to build the whole thing and this is the reveal. Look at the size of this thing, man. This is absolutely incredible. The detail on it, everything about it is just, I'm, I'm pretty like speechless to be honest that this cost me 38 quid. Like, it's an absolute beast of a set. Look at this, guys. It's actually immense. Right, I think we should be placing this on the shelf, but I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. So, yeah, that's going to be a tricky one. So everything's looking a little bit jumbled up again. I'm trying to make space. I've got a set down there that's coming. I just have not got the space for everything, but I needed to give my new set, it's very own shelf because it is absolutely huge. Look at this. On, honestly, look, the, the, apart from the X-Wing, this could potentially be my favorite set I've got, just because of how different it is. I know it hasn't like properly got the piece count of a decent UCS set but I'm going to call this a UCS set because it's absolutely massive like it takes up a whole one of them shelves it's longer than the Star Destroyer which is crazy I think it's like 70 centimeters long or something but yeah look at that that's immense so good Guys, I'm so happy with how the Lego room is starting to look. It just looks, it's for the first time ever like this, when this used to be white, it was so like, just really dirty. It just didn't look nice. And we've got some nice blinds, nice whiteboards break up, you know, the, the chill section to the mad, you know, Lego section. Um, this light doesn't belong there. It normally goes in that corner, but because that corner looks so nice now, I'm going to have to find a new place for my light for the YouTube videos. And then we've got all the sets as usual. Everything on the floor shouldn't be there. This needs to be moved as well. But yeah, it just looks incredible. I'm so happy with it. A lot of hard work has gone into this. Not sure what I'm doing with all that yet, but I do quite like the grittiness of that. But yeah, that's all nice and clean. Yeah, I'm so, so incredibly happy about this Lego room. This set is an easy 9.8 out of 10. It's missing a minifigure, but apart from that, 38 quid for over 2,000 pieces. This huge looking ship. And it looks absolutely fantastic on display in the lego room so i hope you guys enjoyed the latest youtube video if you want this set you can find it on on buy um timu aliexpress anything like that it's 38 pound the set is absolutely incredible as you can see it behind me on my shelf i mean look at that it's so good i'm so impressed with you know how the shelf is looking at the moment for these youtube videos but yeah um Again, shout out to the designer, whoever made this. I had a lot of fun building it and it was, it's just an absolutely gorgeous set. So yeah, as always, remember to subscribe to the channel, hit a thumbs up on this video and remember to drop a comment down and let me know what you think of the set and, you know, maybe pick out a set that I should buy and review next because I'm always looking at, you know, buying cool awesome looking sets and reviewing them for you guys because 
yeah you guys obviously seem to really enjoy this sort of content so yeah as always thank you so much for watching the youtube video and i'll see you on the next one